just yeah. wanted to get your thoughts and pick your brain quickly because I mm-hmm. saw this interesting poll that came out um, that ESPN recently did. And look, I think it was only like, I think about 34 players. It wasn't that many players, but they ranked, they they basically had them rank um, what they see as the top issues, you know, in the WNBA. And of course, travel was amongst them. And that makes sense. We all know that they need to get the travel under control for a variety of reasons, you know, and I would even, I would tie in security with travel because of what happened with Brittany Griner in the airport, right? And so to me, those sort of go hand in hand. It's it's a player safety thing from purposes of them being on the court. It's a player safety issue, just like, you know, recovering their bodies, but it's also a security and safety issue because when they're traveling, you know, <laughs> you know, you have crazy people walking up up to players. So I get why that is the top concern for them. But what was interesting to me is roster roster spots are at the bottom. And I think often when we think about expansion, it, we're just thinking about, oh, what other new teams are you going to add in other places? But expansion is also possible just by expanding the number of roster spots on the team. And, and both have been discussed and proponents of the WNBA come down in different places on this. Um, some people think, right, we shouldn't be doing any kind of expansion. Some think the expansion should be with roster spots and some think we should add new teams, but people are somewhat divided on this, but it does seem like the players who are currently playing, they seem to rank expansion low, you know, Kelsey Plum earlier in the season spoke about it too. And she was not, Mm -hmm. um, She was like, yeah, like, I think there's just other Mm -hmm. things that we need to focus on. And so I found the comments Mm -hmm. interesting. I found the poll interesting, especially in light of the fact that the commissioner just visited Denver and there've been talks Mm -hmm. of expansion, right? Mm -hmm. And um, Mm -hmm. this has been the talk, expansion, expansion, expansion. Mm -hmm. And you also recently, you know, had Destiny Henderson. And if you know Destiny Henderson, I love Henny. She's a fave, but she's been bouncing around on hardship contracts this year, you know, because she can't get a spot on a team because there's not enough roster spots. And we remember earlier in the season with Alexis Morris criticizing some of the vets who won't leave, right? She did apologize, but saying like, you need to go and give up those spots. And we don't need these wars between players. So I, I would say some of these players trying to get in would agree with expansion. But what what where, where do you where do you see this, Dawn? Like where do you land on this? So where I land on this is along the lines of where Kel- well Kelsey's at. Like literally, can you focus on the current issues that this league has? Because those particular issues consistently have been a thing. Like and we're not talking just recently because the fan base has grown, but just overall, like consistently throughout the 25 years of this league, these things have been issues. And so if you can get that down, then I'm cool. I'm all cool, especially if you can really tackle travel. I'm all, I'm all for expansion, expansion. But one thing about expansion that most people have to understand, yes, there's talks. Yes, they're going to be doing these things. But that's also to not only grow the fan base, but to see where the fan base would be successful if the team comes to that particular city. I mean, look at the NFL. The NFL has been out overseas now, you know, a couple of times in a couple of countries. And so they're growing the fan base that way. Um, I see this as an opportunity for the WNBA to try to figure out some other ways of making money. But if you don't get those, these travel issues taken care of, if you don't handle, you know, how many roster spots most people can get, which could actually be beneficial towards the team expansion. I just feel like these, these players are just going to be frustrated because if there's long layovers, if there's issues getting to a game, if games are ended, like being up canceled and things like that, like there's other things we could be talking about but this one thing and then two if if we if we're going to be 100 i've always been an advocate about trying to figure out how to increase the salaries for these players where's the money like okay you want to expand but that's going to cost money to do so if that's going to cost money to do can you put it in the very things that these players are telling you that they need and that's the frustration that i really have with this commissioner she consistently keeps missing the mark she consistently keeps ignoring some of the things that the fans are saying or if she hears it it's like uh well we're we are doing this Girl, we don't know because the league office isn't really keeping us updated on every single thing that they're des- deciding to do or work on, and they're not really being fully transparent. So in this moment, 
when I see you have this grand old party in Denver, Colorado, you know what I'm saying? Having a grand old time. How much did it cost you to do that? Because it was there any travel issues with any previous teams to where maybe some money could have went towards that as far as like security and all of those things. Like you, you see how I'm thinking as like, okay, we're gonna keep this business minded and I'm I'm removing my fan, my fan, my fanatic, my, my, my fan freedom and all of the things. Then I'm like, okay, from a business standpoint, none of this makes sense. None of it. I'm guessing Kathy Counter is gonna be like, if we expand, it brings in more revenue and money. I'm sorry, Rita, go ahead. No, but, and and so, yeah, that makes sense. But ultimately, what, this is like a chicken and an egg type of situation. Do you, what, like Dawn said, that sounds like that's more money that you're outputting when there's issues that you need to resolve before then. And I love the suggestion that Dawn made talking about the NFL going overseas. And maybe there's ways in order to do that. Maybe go to cities like Denver that don't have teams and do like games there and, and start to see how you get the feel of it there. But like just automatically saying, oh, let's put an expansion here when you're having players say look we have some problems with travel and contracts and all this other stuff fix those things first then you can talk about expansion hey thank you for watching brother from another if you haven't hit that subscribe button go ahead and do that now don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on peacocktv.com and on sirius xm channel 85